History has shown that over time, the soldier's combat load has grown tremendously. A full combat load can exceed 130 pounds. We've been developing the squad mission support system to try to help eliminate this problem. And we're out at our robotics test center uh, located in Grand Prairie, Texas. There's basically two types of testing that we do at our RTC here. One is integration testing to safely test them mechanically, electrically to make sure everything checks out. And then we also need to test the software integration. The second type of testing here at the RTC is on controlled obstacles. So we have a variety of controlled obstacles here that represent the types of conditions you would find in both urban and natural settings in combat. Once we complete our integration mobility testing, we move on to our upper test track area. It gives us an opportunity to try mock missions, to develop tactics, techniques, and procedures, and to verify the concept of operations for the vehicle. The squad mission support system is designed to carry a full squad's worth of packs and sleeping gear. It also carries water, MREs, ammunition, heavy weapons, and other special mission equipment. The system is designed to be soldier friendly, easy to load and unload. So a soldier can walk up with his 80 pound pack, put it right on this pack rack, secure the straps, and he's good to go. The autonomous nature of the system allows it to follow a soldier wherever he wants to go, or it can follow pre-programmed waypoint plans that were laid down by the operator or the vehicle itself. SMSS utilizes a 3D scanning LiDAR that is the primary means of obstacle detection and avoidance. The sensor suite on the vehicle enables the different modes of operation. All of that is controlled through a lightweight wearable operator control unit. Remote control and teleoperation are affected via the sensors, joysticks, and buttons on the system, while autonomy is controlled via the touchscreen. The touchscreen also gives system status and enables the soldier to see where he's at in relation to the vehicle. Once the soldier has planned an autonomous mission, he can stow the controller and be on about his business. The vehicle will follow him based solely on his optical form. No beacons are required. The squad mission support system is used to carry the soldier's gear and help unburden him as he's moving to an objective point so that there's more fight in the soldier when he arrives at the fight. 